Hello Power Users, Zbigniew Łukowski here and today we will be talking about combo boxes in forms and how to change them to multi-select checkbox. So if we have the form and in there we have the combo box on which we are choosing uh, certain options and then uh, showing the items, we want to change this behavior to custom multi-select checkbox. If you have a low number of items to select, then you want to see all of them selected or not from the start, not uh, hidden under the combo box. So we will see how uh, how to do it and how to avoid common mistakes with this uh, with this kind of uh, solution. Okay, cool. So I have my already my form existing. Let me show you the whole gallery. This is the gallery with my board games and if I'm uh, showing this uh, this option and, and, and I'm clicking this, this arrow, I want to be transformed to a form which is updating this, uh, this, uh, this record. And if I'm creating the new, I want to be tra also transformed to a new to a new form. This is not working yet because we will be working on this mechanic data card one where we have the checkbox and in here we have the mechanics which uh, is the multi-select. Uh, we will be changing this behavior to the multi-select checkbox, right? So, okay, let's start. So let's get uh, this, let's kill this one. We will just uh, save the mechanic and in here we will insert the vertical gallery. Sorry, not here. Let's delay, delete it. Let's click on the part of the mechanic data card and let's click data card here. Oof, still not working. Uh, let me cut this. Let me paste this here. Cool. Uh, so I've already created the collection which I'm using, so I want to be the, doubling this collection. And uh, for the data source, as you can see, we can have this collection which will be part of our uh, our choices. But what, what I want to really do is I want to go with the choices and the choice which I've already made in our, my dataverse. So this will be the items. And here I want to delete just like everything. Let's clear this. Let's cut, cut, let's cut everything. And let's, uh, in the items, let's just insert a, a checkbox. So as you can see, we have the option here. Let's clear this, change this to to, to have to be smaller and also let's go with the the gallery properties let's drop count to two Ooh. Oh, let's change this and in the checkbox in the in the text let's go with this item value. Oh, let's make it a little bit bigger. Up. 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 Great. Looking, looking good uh, already. Okay. So the text, the items is already done. So uh, now we have to now we'll have to on the check and the uncheck of, of our checkbox, we want to update the collection. So I want to go with the check. Let's collect. Sorry, let's yeah, let's collect my already created collection. with this item. 
and what's the mistake? Uh, this let's change this uh, to gallery six and gallery six. Cool. Uh, okay, so this checkbox on check is already there. On uncheck, I, wa I want to also to remove this value from from my existing collection. So I have my collection, and this item will be removed. Uh, next, what I want to do is is basically when I'm uh, when I'm submitting this form. As you can see, I'm submitting form one. So in here, I want to have two uh, in advanced properties change the default and the update to my collection. I already did this, but you need to do it by yourself. You need to change the default and the update to, to your collection. This way, way you will assure, make sure that the collection is properly updated. Okay, so once this is done. I want also. I want uh, also to the to on visible change my my formula. So if the mode is edit, I want to clear the collection, and to use the gallery to select it mechanic as my uh, default parts of the collection, and this will be. This will, this is gallery two. So if I'm selecting something. I want those to be selected in my collection. And if not, if, if the form is new, then I want to completely clear the collection mechanic selection. So what we are still missing, the most important part is to tie up the checkbox value between our choices from mechanics and our collection, because it's not yet done. So on the default, do, 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 on the default, I want to have this item dot value in and my collection. So this item uh, item value will be just the text, right? And in the collection mechanic selection, I have also the text. So as you can see, Agricola is already already uh, done. When I go to the for example, Island Frontiers, which has two dice manipulation at the deck building. This is done. And if I want to have the new option, it's it's completely cleared. That's great. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. And let's see if I have option with the tree. Checkbox is already selected. This is uh, also tied up. Yeah. And I guess that's it. That's it. So most important uh, factors, let's remind them, let's, <coughs> sorry, uh, let's, uh, let's see this button. In, on this button, I'm resetting the gallery to just to reset the selected item. I don't know if it's uh, that important, but I think it is, so I just keep it. I'm resetting the form and uh, creating the new form for form one, which is my uh, this form uh, in here remember on the visible you have to you have to go with uh, with uh, this this option i have only for mode edit and new but if you have for mode view as well then you might uh, reform this this uh, and this if uh, to for mode uh, equals to new then uh, clear else Click clear and collect because in view form you would like to see also your your checkboxes uh, ready. Uh, next thing to remember is the the default. This is, without this it won't work. It will show you gibberish. Uh, if you have uh, already selected the items, uh, it will just remember the old value. And on check, on uncheck, you need to update your collection. Basically, you need to keep uh, your collection um, st status for each uh, item you edit and each item which is new. So, we, 
and in here we are submitting form and uh, it's working only because we already use the mechanic selection uh, data card which is um, which is also um, responsible for the mechanic uh, mechanic uh, selection so let's go one time also with the new hop hop let's create something new let's call it board game one four board game four up let's check board game four board game form has already all checkboxes selected we can go there and we can see the selection we are updating the board game form and we updated this to three because it was in the edit mode right so everything is working so if that helped you i hope you you can sub like etc you know the drill and uh, i i've got many other uh, videos from power apps power automate desktop power automate etc and uh, power platform as a whole so you can check them uh, as well and uh, so Zbigniew Pukowski out see you soon